Sarah, everything will be fine. Just relax, be yourself. All right, Dad. Remember what I said to you. We've been through it enough times. Oi, watch your mouth, OK? Good thing you told Uncle Jimmy not to come. Yeah, well, you know what he's like when you get a drink. Here, pass me those bottles, we love. Here they are. Oh, right. right, well, this is Tony. Hi. Thank you. Hi, Tony, pleased to meet you. And this is Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hey. You asked first. Reform smokers. They're always the worst. Oh, that's all right. Ted, where's Jimmy? Yeah, he couldn't make it. He, uh, he rather overdid it last night. He sends his apologies. Oh. That's a shame. I brought an extra crate of lager. <laughs> yeah, one of each. All oh, right, thanks. French, where we usually go on holiday. Oh, thought you did walk with a go this year, did you? Well, it's always good to see one's family, Phil. Yeah, right. So, what can I get everyone to drink? <laughs> Are you sure you won't have an omelette or something? No, no. All right, thanks, I'll to Cathy. Oh, sorry, Kath, I should have warned you. She'd just gone vegetarian. The new phase. <laughs> well, that's all right. I did loads of veg. Must be great having all this space. We're all spoiling over each other, aren't we? Well, I think it's cosy. Mind you, you want to see Ted's place? It's fantastic. It's got this huge garden. Just don't spend as much time out there. Oh, it's great in the summer. Oh, you need to have a great barbecue. You want to see it? Pork chops, spare ribs, the lot. More like sling on the sausages, slosh back the wine. <laughs> well, I bet you're good at that. Yeah, well, I have had a bit of practice, Peggy. <laughs> I don't suppose we have many more of those. Why is that? Well, summer's nearly over, isn't it? <laughs> Done a lot of work on this place. Yeah, it was a bed sit till Phil brought it up. Uh, empty, was it? Yeah, well, all the tenants were taken care of. Uh, well, some were moving out anyway, others were nice to find places for, but well, it seems to have worked out all right. <clears throat> well, I don't think Ricky's too happy being back at Pat's. Yeah, well, that was his choice. He wanted to move back now. Yeah, I just don't think there's a great deal of room there, you know, now he's back with Bianca. Ian, that's hardly Phil's problem, is it? Well, I tell you what, um, why don't we rent our old place out to him? I thought we'd slap so. Yeah, but the market's not too good at the moment and the rent will come in useful. And what about Alan and Carol? Well, they'll be back in their own place soon. All right, yeah. If you think it's a good idea. Great. I'll tell Pat in the morning, then. What are you putting in this? Brandy. Oh, no. I thought I'd give it a bit of extra kick. Oh, oh well. I think it's lovely, darling. You know, I've got a daughter not much older than you. Really? Yeah. She's a photographic model, actually. Although she's not working at the moment. What's she doing now, then? Helping me out in the Vic. That's when she's not too busy. Is she married? Separated. Although she started going out with a really nice bloke lately. Davy Wicks. Yeah, he's my stepbrother. I think he's quite smitten. <coughs> you are, right, love. Sorry, a bit strong, Phil. You got a boyfriend, love? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I had this one bloke working for me. Thick as two short planks he was. We just built this new wall. We had to knock down another one. I told him, I said, knock down the wall where Tony's left his bike. In the meantime, someone's moved Tony's bike. Oh, no. Yeah, I knocked down the wrong wall. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Phil. Cost me a packet, that did. It's the sort of place you can't trust anyone to do anything without supervision. <laughs> You're a brandy, Cindy. No, I'm all right. I say no. Mm. Oh, Cindy. Have you been swimming at all lately? Only I was thinking I might like to go along, you know, if I get a free afternoon. Uh, occasionally when I can fit it in. We ought to go together sometime. Yeah. Sarah's a good swimmer, and you love. Is that right? Well, lucky you. I'm pretty hopeless myself. I'm not bad. Oh, come on. You're better than not bad. Well, I was in the school team. Yeah, backstroke champion. And she swam for a club. Ooh, that's very impressive. <laughs> well, we'd reached the semi-finals of the league, but when we had to move away, I mean... Sadly, you see, the finals are on while we're here. Oh, what a shame. Still, I expect you're enjoying yourselves down here, aren't you? Oh, yeah, she keeps herself occupied, don't you, love? Yeah, what have you been up to? Oh, nothing much. Well... Dad... Oh, come on, love, it's not that bad. Shouldn't you be back at school by now, love? Look, she's not going back, none of us are. Isn't that right, Dad? Yeah, he's right, we're not going back. Dead? I'm sorry, Kath, I should have told you. Yeah, but well, it was this kid, real troublemaker. I came close to sacking him several times, nicking stuff. One day he was mucking about on a scaffold, in slip fell, and um, well, he died. They called in the police, health and safety authorities, and um, long and short of it was, I was found to be negligent. Well? They said I hadn't followed the proper safety procedures. Impose a massive fine. 
Shortly after that, the work started to dry up. Recession. Basically, it wiped us out. Seems a bit unfair, blaming you like that. Safety equipment missing or something. Still have nightmares about the kid. Just falling. Put out my hand, try and save him. Just slips away. And what could you have done if he was mucking about like that? I should never have let it happen. And that's why I moved away. Yeah, well, there was a lot of uh, bad feeling in the neighbourhood. The boy's parents blamed me. Well, I didn't mind, but it weren't fair on the kids. So I decided to uh, put it all behind us and leave. And Jimmy came too. Well, I could hardly leave him behind. Why didn't you tell us, Ted? We're your family. I wanted to put it all behind us. Make a fresh start. My family mean everything to me. Now more than ever. You're all I've got. Here's to that fresh start. <laughs>